Kirschbaum that the wedding nuptials between Prince Harry and the African-American divorcee, Meghan Markle, may be sooner than anticipated. Insiders say that Meghan is now pregnant. As expected, most of the British public is astir with excitement. Royalists are busy sorting through the arcane rules of the monarchy to determine what title the child will be bestowed. Some believe that the child should have the moniker of Prince, while others believe that Duke would be more correct. Most, however, think that the child will eventually be referred to as Guilty. In a rare <laughs> admonishment of her subjects, Queen Elizabeth expressed disappointment for those who disparage her grandson's fiance because of her black ancestry. She is quoted as saying that she is appalled by racists and that, in fact, the only thing worse than racism is niggers. <laughs> Continuing with news from England, new analysis of the genetic material from the remains of Britain's oldest complete skeleton, known as Cheddar Man, now points to the possibility that he was black due to the lack of genetic markers commonly found in white people. But the most crucial evidence to support his swarthy skin tone is the discovery of the skull of a woman buried next to Cheddar Man, still having the weave attached to it. <laughs> in addition to this forensic evidence, anthropologists interpreting artifacts found at the dig site believe that Cheddar Man lived in a highly segregated society of rival clans. Cheddar Man's relatively young age at the time of his death has led scientists to conclude that he reached a violent end. The cause of his death has been narrowed down to either being attacked by a saber-toothed tiger or sitting at the wrong lunch counter. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau recently made international news when he corrected a young woman in a town hall audience who inadvertently used the antiquated term mankind. Less reported upon is his response to her follow-up question to which the Prime Minister indignantly replied, quote, you cannot use that kind of language to refer to me. You should call me instead a non-gender specific genital sucker. Former presidential candidate and governor of Massachusetts, Mitt Romney, has announced that he is running for the Utah Senate seat, soon to be vacated by retiring Senator Orrin Hatch. Though a Republican, he has publicly attacked President Trump on many occasions. Most recently, he accused the president of sowing social discord and racial division in the country. To demonstrate his more inclusive style of leadership, Romney rented out a movie theater and invited the only two African Americans he could find in Salt Lake City for a special screening of the newly released Black Panther movie. To his surprise, Romney did have to answer some rather awkward questions from reporters after the event. It seems that one of the African Americans he invited was actually a really dark Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, in Pyeongchang, the 2018 Winter Olympics are still underway. The U.S. team's medal expectations have, however, been lowered following several disappointing finishes, such as favored American skier Lindsey Vaughn, who placed sixth in her race, and figure skater Adam Rippon, described as gayer than Paul Joseph Watson in a Turkish bath, who received a disappointing <laughs> bronze medal. Nonetheless, Rippon's time at the Olympics has not been without some controversy. An outspoken critic of the vice president, Rippon accused Pence of being so ignorant and homophobic that he thinks the AIDS quilt will work on the gays the way smallpox blankets worked on the Indians. <laughs> Contrarily, the always conciliatory Pence said he was very proud of Rippon for bringing home the bronze. However, he feels that bringing home the Giardia he contracted, <laughs> Gangnam style, from the hairless Korean locker room attendant is really just gratuitous at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. 